Welcome back guys, Sly back in here. So with the Legion release fast approaching, it's time to get your UI sorted before it actually releases so you don't have to sit around playing with it once Legion's actually up and running. And then of course the Legion comes out and all your UI breaks. Yeah, but hopefully that's not going to be the case. Usually these mod guys are, uh, or add-on guys are pretty quick on getting them updated and stuff. And I think we should be fine this time. So what, I'll just run through exactly what I'm using. Um, and if you guys want like an in-depth video on each one or one in particular just let me know in the comment section down below and I will go into more detail on exactly um, how I've set each and every single one up. So the first I'm going to look at is our bar mod. Uh, of course it is bartender. Oh get out of there. We don't want that. Uh, so it is bartender. I've only got a couple of bars up and running at the moment and a couple of them are actually hidden. So to do that it's quite easily. Just set them here at fade out and fade out to zero. Um, occupancy. So those ones are actually over this side. So these are the spells that I don't particularly need to look at, um, but I need to know that they're there and I need to have them key bound to certain things um, and just relying on muscle memory to make sure those get all uh, used at the appropriate times and stuff like that. And on top of that we also have our menu and our bags over here. If we do need to click on them at any stage, they're just right there. I know exactly where they are. They're not off the map completely, uh, but they're not showing up. We don't need to see them all the time, so they're hidden in this lovely wee corner over here. Now, of course, we are using recount as our um, damage meter. If you want to use a damage meter, that's up to you. Uh, recount, SCADA, any of those ones, they'll do pretty much the same thing. You just pick whatever one uh, you like the look of, I guess, the most. Uh, using sexy map, you know, map mods are... Uh, map mods right there, they're, they're not that exciting. Uh, if you want to use one you can, set it up, pick the border that you like. I like this one. I kind of like the position where it is now. Some people have it down here or down here. I don't particularly like seeing it all the time, so that's why I've got to hit it back up in just the standard corner. Um, I could also put it down here I guess, but I've yeah, definitely hit it up in this corner up here. Beautiful. Right, moving along, we have shadow unit frames. Um, and I quite like this one actually, it looks quite good, it's very very clean, you can set it up however you like, um, I really really like shadow unit frames at the moment. So I used to use x -Pearl for a really really long time, um, but I see it hasn't actually been updated for a wee while I don't think, and it, it kind of looks exactly the same, so I'm really liking this one at the moment. I'm thinking maybe these are, nah, I might move these a wee bit closer eventually, but I'm quite happy with who they are at the moment. Now, one thing I did always wonder is how the hell do people line up their UIs properly? So there's a lovely wee add-on called ELI. It's called ELI Reborn or Redone or something like that is the actual name of it. So what that does is you um, turn it on and you see this lovely wee grid comes up on your screen so you can actually line things up properly um, and put them in the exact right place. Oh, this one's actually slightly out, isn't it? I might need to adjust that one slightly, although that one there is slightly out as well, so they may be in exactly the right place. So we'll turn that off. Now, of course, we're using Tell Me When here. So you can either use Tell Me When or you can use Wii Chorus. Um, this just shows your buffs and stuff like that that you need to be tracking. So you'll see all these, I've got, actually got five buttons here set up, one, two, three, four, and five, correspond to the same numbers down here, which means we don't ever need to be looking down here. We can always just look here. So what I've done with Tell Me When is set up, some people like to have it set up so that um, if the buff or something is on them, they can see it. Um, I like it the opposite way, that if the buff isn't on me, I want to see the button here to tell me that yes, I need to be pushing that. So effectively, we want this screen here blank, and whatever pops up in here, we can just push that corresponding button and it gets rid of it. So um, depending on your talents, of course, we've got uh, Landslide here, and we've got um, Frostbrand, and of course Flame Tongue here for the Shaman. So if we run through those and get those buffs running. So you see Storm Strike has procced, and we also, so I've got that set up so that there's two ways that'll show. Um, obviously, if it's off cooldown, it'll show. Um, so either off cooldown or if it's procced, we will see it as well. Um, and also, if I have enough resources to actually cast it, it'll show. If I don't, it won't actually show at all. Um, and then another nice thing we've got here, I've got Lava Lash set up to only show once I'm above 90 Maelstrom. Now, the reason for that is that if we do get a Storm Strike and a Storm Strike proc, it takes 60 Maelstrom to get both of those off, so 40 for the original, plus the 20 Maelstrom cost for the propped version, uh, which obviously is 60, and then Lava Lash costs us 30, so that's 90, right? So we, the last thing we want to be doing, say if I had this set up for, say, 60 or whatever, I've pushed this, and now that's dropped it down to, um, my Maelstrom down to 30, um, now I can't use my standard Storm Strike, I can still use the one that propped, because that only costs 20, but I can't use the standard one at the same time. Um, and another thing you'll note, 
I'll just get these buffs running so we can see them. Uh, my buffs will actually show up here with the timer once they're under four seconds left. So that gives me a wee bit of time to say, yep, this buff's going to fall off shortly. You should be pushing it, which will give us the um, ability to not let any of our buffs actually fall off. The last thing we want to be doing is letting our buffs fall off and having to take two global cooldowns or whatever to get them back up and running. So that's, you know, two global cooldowns where we can't or we're not effectively performing at our max um, potential. But I've also got enough time that if they are falling off, I've still got it, and they say there's a storm strike proc, I've still got enough time to actually get that storm strike out before the buffs actually drop off. So, you know, it just gives me that wee timing window where I can, like, prioritise in my own mind which ones, which button I exactly want to be pressing at exactly what time. So, you see there, we've got four seconds, and these aren't actually going to fall off at all, which is exactly what we want. And you'll see there, oh, we're at 85, there we go, Lava Lash is there at 90. And we've still got enough Maelstrom left to actually be able to um, fire off two Storm Strikes if that procs in that way there. So that's really it, guys. That's really it for the UI. Um, pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Um, I do like a simple UI. There's not a heck of a lot of detail in here. There's nothing fancy. I haven't done a chat one yet. I might do a chat um, add-on at some stage as well. Um, and of course, I am using Move Anything, um, which just allows me to put this just a wee bit further away. As you can see, I'm tracking everything at the moment, which is silly. We'll clear that out before Legion comes, of course. Um, but I've managed to put this right into the corner. Rather, It usually sits out here just a wee bit. So with Move Anything, you can actually just push it right off into the corner. So yeah, if you guys want to see a more in-depth how exactly I set up Tell Me When, etc., um, let me know in the comments section down below, and I'll do a video on that. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video, guys. Hopefully it gives you some idea, maybe, um, of what you want your UI to look like and what um, add-ons you actually want to use. Thanks for watching, and we will see you next time.